Hi right, guys, welcome back. And today we'll be in the Fashion Wars in the Shadow King Crypt. We'll be doing stage 20. As you can see, I've already completed all these levels before in the past. I thought I'd just go through and show you some of the champions I've used to do these runs. Okay, and we'll jump straight into it. And once we've done the run, then we'll, then we'll show the masteries and how I set the champions up. We have Yoshi and the team as our lead champion. We have Ninja, Kinagashi, Karato, and Barang Barangai, or Barangri, depending on which way you want to pronounce it. Now, not all these champions are fully booked out or anything like that, but, you know, you can get the idea what champions you can use. You don't have to have the full books on every champion. But some champions, you, you know, they're not going to get used in much areas of the game. So if you can get away with their putting the books on it, do save. That's what I've been doing now. You know, this is a group of champions who can... You know, they've got a few different skills amongst them. We've got Ninja in the team to do the damage. You know, we get the HP burns out as well. We get some perfect veils. Alloy attack. It's not a fast team, that's one thing for sure. You know, they're not fed up, set up for real fast speeds, these champions. We get some decreased defense happening. And blocking our buffs here by the looks of it, but then you'll see that after a while. You know, if you don't have high accuracy or anything when you're champions, they can get they can get blocked. Get some boost turn meter happening. But yeah, it was just to show really, you know, I've done every every area of the game, so I just thought I'd go through, make videos now, showing some champions I've used to do levels and stages in the game. So if you're stuck, you know, maybe it'll help you get through the through that level as well. We've got the website set up now as well, so you know you can go and check that out. It's www.simraid.com. Or otherwise you can message me here in YouTube as well. You can message through the contact section in the website. But as you can see it's you know it's not it's no speed team. But then some of these champions you know, I don't use so in other areas of the game so I wouldn't wouldn't put the effort to them. Only max out champions, which you're really going to use in a lot of areas of the game, I find, you know, because books can be hard to come by. And it takes a lot of energy as well to do their masteries, or unless you're going to use gems, diamonds to, to pay for it. Okay, now we're on to the round three. Get a couple of HP burns out there happening. Get some stuns. Stuns always help. Save you getting less damage from the enemies. They can't move, can't do anything to you while they're stunned. So always look at when you build a team, you know, you've got a variety of champions in your team. HP champions, you know, healers, increase increase accuracy champions, um, you know, increase attack, you know, get some defense down champions so you have less defense on the enemy, makes it easier to, to, to fight, finish and kill them as well. Yeah, so that was the team there. So we'll go in, we'll have a quick look, you know, how I've got them set up so you can see. Recently used, we have Yoshi's in here. As you can see, we've got him in. Sometimes the game just doesn't want to load this set, so I just go in. You can see here we've got him two sets of perception and a speed set. His total stats, he's at 47,300. 2,776 attack, 1,729 defense, 203 speed, crit rate of 118%. Now, he only needed 100% crit rate here. 
but I didn't have the right gear, so but it doesn't matter if you go over the 100%. 101% crit damage, 384 resist, 351 accuracy. His skills, as you can see, it's not fully booked out. See, but it did the job. And that's all it comes down to. We didn't fully book. As for the masteries, we have him in a fence and a support role. As you can see, they're not fully done either. Next, we have Ninja. He's in a fence and defense role. His skills, he is booked because he's a champion we can use in other areas of the game. As for his items, he's in Divine Offense, Resist, and Perception. This is just trying out different sets to see how it works on, on him. Okay, we've got total stats. He's at 42,529 HP, 4,259 attack, 1,818 defense, 2,013 speed, 213 speed, I should say. Crit rate 98%, so you want to try to get that to 100% if you can. 148 crit damage, 375 resist, accuracy 228. Then we have Karato. Karato is not maxed out in all these items here, as you can see there. He's in life still set to help keep him alive. He is booked. And then the masteries, we have him set in. Giant Slayer in the fence and defense rolls. His total stats 36,797 HP, 4,138 attack, 1,848 defense, 190 speed, crit rate of 97%. So you want to try to get that to 100%. 163 crit damage, 136 resist, 297 accuracy. Now, Brain Guy. He's, as you can see, he's not all maxed out in his items here. He's just in one set of Immortal. So that is going to affect his total stats. But you know, he did what he had to do without fully maxing him out. He's at 46,991 HP, 1,219 attack, 3,408 defense, 175 speed, crit rate of 33%, crit damage 108%, 140 resist, and 104 accuracy. You'll see he doesn't have his books. But then, you know, if you're not going to use a champion in other areas of the game, don't waste booking that on him. There's no masteries either on this champion. As you can see, Kingashi, no mastery set. Skills, we have the books. Just to make it so the skills do work. I have her in Relentless and Speed set. Total stats. 63,133 HP, 2,137 attack, 2,261 defense, 271 speed, crit rate of 33%, crit damage of 92%, 121 resist, and 183 accuracy. So that was the team, guys. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.